Are we rolling? There, now we're rolling. Okay, great. So we are here today to demonstrate using the transcription tool Transcriber to help transcribe recordings from the Sav Lab Fade study. Um, so go ahead. Okay, so you open your la um, desktop, and the first thing you want to do is you go on your version control folder, very important, and you right-click on on the on the in, uh, right. So, so in this case, the her folder is called audio. Right. Maybe yours will be Bob or whatever. Uh -huh. So you right-click on it, and then you go to there to update. To SVN update, yep. and you, this um, dialog box will pop up where you'll put in your information and hit OK, your username and password. Yep. So you'll hit OK. Mm -hmm. We're going to just, it's not going to work because yeah. I don't think you have permission to read this one. Okay. But anyway, so if, if she did type in a correct mm -hmm. username and password, then here, instead of saying, you know, error, you would see all these files the, coming all the in new if, files. if there's any new files. If there okay. aren't any new files, you won't see anything. So anyway, okay. And then you hit OK. Down here, yep. And now your whole folder is updated. You have all the new files that your um, person, uh, your supervisor might have added. Okay, and now I'm gonna, I clicked on version control and I'm gonna open my folder. In this case, it's called audio. And Right, so, I mean, that was just opening it in an audio player, but there, wait, wait, wait can you show that again? Okay. So, no, so she's just going to go to um, the start menu, in Start menu. and there's Transcriber. You open Transcriber, and... So this is what you got. This is what it opens up as, but you want to cancel that. Okay, so cancel at the bottom there, and uh -huh. then go up to the upper left file. Yeah. Uh-huh, to open the file that you want to transcribe. And that's an audio file. Uh-huh, so you so. click on Open Audio File. Yeah. And I will go on my desktop and version control. That's where I have all my files. Right, so you're navigating to version control just where we were before. Now audio. Now audio. And these are all the files that I have to transcribe. Yeah. So I'll click on the one that I want to work with. So yeah. in this case, I opened the first right. one. So, so, hold on. so now you can see, whereas before this line at the bottom was essentially blank or flat, now we see the squiggles of an mm -hmm. audio recording. So that's the actual audio recording. Mm -hmm. Okay, so okay. what do we have here? Okay, before we start, I want to show you the play and the pause button. And it's very straightforward. So if you look here at the green play button. Oh, 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 down there. Down okay, there. yeah, right there. And it, you hit play, and the segment starts going. Oh, so when, the, when you put the headphones on, you'll actually hear... Mm -hmm hear the audio as the tape head, the virtual tape head moves over this audio, mm -hmm. okay. And you can pause anytime using the pause tool. Okay. Yeah. Like or, or you could use the tab, tab key on oh. your keyboard oh, okay. to pause and play. Oh, which can is you show that? So hit tab, so it starts moving and then you stop. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, That's great. using tab, which is easier than having to click on the play and the pause button. Right. But so, so, and the reason you want to do that is because you're transcribing. So you, they say, you know, the cat's out on the mat. Okay, hold on a second. Let me type that. The cat's, and then you hit pause, and then you type the cat's out on the mat, and then you, right, okay. Right, right, right. Okay, um, let's go back. So if you want to go back to the very beginning, you just click on the place where you want to start from. So I want the red bar to go oh. back all the way to the beginning. So I'm just oh. going to simply click here. Oh, so you just put your mouse over there and click. Yeah, okay. and then your um, click red bar. Click left or right? Just right, uh, left. Okay. Left. You click left and the bar goes back to the beginning. Mm -hmm. And now I'm ready to start transcribing. Okay. So, for example, it's playing and I'm writing, hello, my name is, and then the person is talking and to go to the next speaker, you click enter okay. and a new line pops up where you can um, type in the next next speaker's words. This is just um, showing you how to um, add different, um, right. keep them separate. So you just hit enter again. You hit enter and okay. um, you continue typing. Okay, this is just an example. And the way you add a speaker is you click on no speaker. Oh, okay, click left? Click left. Okay. And this dialog box will pop up. And okay. you're going to do create speaker. Okay. And the researcher is going to be researcher one. 
and you want to make sure it's all lowercase and no spacing, Oops. just like I did. Okay, yeah. Researcher, <laughs> researcher mm -hmm. one. Right, and that's so that the code can find because mm -hmm. it, it expects researcher one, participant one. If there's more than one researcher, then that will be re the next one will be researcher two, researcher three, and there's mm -hmm. more than one participant. Like the mother starts talking that's participant two, mm -hmm. but um, the actual p real research participant should be a participant one and the real interviewer should be uh, researcher, researcher one. Okay. You, I entered the name and uh, again, it's all lowercase and no spacing, researcher one, and then I hit okay. Okay, down there, okay. Okay, and now I have a speaker. Oh, okay. right, so it says, you should see, uh, now it says researcher one. So that timer says we need to stop the tape and we'll continue this in the continuation. Okay, talk to you later.